We're grateful to CNS for providing us the opportunity to present our research on resection and surgically targeted radiation therapy for initial or salvage treatment of aggressive meningioma. This subgroup analysis comes from a larger cohort, a prospective multi-histology single institution trial from Barrow Neurological Institute. The larger trial had 108 brachytherapy procedures in 96 adult patients with aggressive intracranial neoplasms of a variety of histology. Most patients had two or more prior treatment failures. This analysis is of 35 recurrent or aggressive meningiomas in 28 patients. 29 of the lesions were recurrent and six had no prior therapy. WHO grade was one in a minority of patients, two, and grade two in the majority, 28. Five patients had WHO grade three. Median radiographic follow-up was 26 months. The treatment was completed with a cesium-131 brachytherapy device that was bioresorbable collagen tile with precise geometry. The dimensions of the tiles are shown in this image. They're uh, 20 millimeters wide and have four seeds spaced a centimeter apart. The spacing is such that it prevents harmful direct seed to tissue contact with the brain and there's uniform radiation source spacing whether one tile or multiple tiles are used. This is an example, a patient with two recurrent meningiomas, one located in the falks and the other along the convexity. Notice that the spacing with the falcine seeds has been preserved even over the 18 month interval. The more recent treatment is the convexity lesion. You can see the seeds here and the dose is 6,000 to 8,000 centigrade at five millimeters, which is typical. Results. This slide shows local control by WHO grade. The solid black line includes all grades with four-year local control of 72%. The dotted line is WHO grade two, showing four-year local control of 79%, which is exceptional considering that many of these patients have recurrent WHO grade two meningioma. The red line is WHO grade three, and as is unfortunately the case, these patients perform poorly. Fortunately, they're quite rare. This graph reveals local control by prior treatment. The top two lines in red and blue show uniform local control in patients with no prior radiation therapy or prior surgery. The lines that are trailing off are patients that have had previous treatment, but even they have uh, local control largely exceeding 60%, which again is excellent. This bar graph reveals local control for recurrent meningioma based upon collagen tile brachytherapy in the green bars and the prior local recurrence in blue. Notice that at every time point, the blue bars are lower than the green bars. In other words, cesium collagen tile brachytherapy resulted in better local control than the previous treatment. This is unexpected. The literature is rather clear that every recurrence results in a shorter local control period. Safety. We observed four symptomatic adverse events in 28 patients. Two were wound breakdowns requiring surgery and two were radiation related brain changes treated medically. Conclusions. This single arm prospective trial of surgery plus collagen tile brachytherapy. We demonstrated favorable local control outcomes in largely high-risk pretreated patients, superior to those expected from the medical literature with similar patient groups. Treatment was safe with manageable side effects in 14% of heavily pretreated patients. There were no treatment-related mortalities. This device has FDA clearance for use in newly diagnosed malignant or recurrent intracranial neoplasms, including meningioma.
Thank you. For experienced surgeons and radiation oncologists, the procedure is rather simple, adding only about five to 10 minutes to surgery. It's remarkably safe, considering a cohort with a mean two prior surgeries and 1.7 prior radiation therapy courses. Collagen tile brachytherapy results in outcomes that appear superior to the medical literature, particularly for patients with recurrent or WHO grade two meningioma.